Lord is my shepherd, everybody. Lord is my shepherd. He goes before me. He goes before me. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. Y'all been practicing. I won't fear. Filled with anointing. I'm filled with anointing. Thank you, Jesus. My cup's overflowing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. No weapon can harm me. Jesus. I won't fit.
I am so glad about that. Amen. Amen. The song, Psalm 23, I am not alone. People and songs featuring Josh Sherman. Oh, what a wonderful song with wonderful lyrics. Amen. Amen. I, the, the beat of a song grips you. It, it catches you your attention but when you begin to listen at the words amen and the words minister to you oh it's something beautiful about that amen amen welcome to another segment of faith in action i am your host mary j bryant amen amen and i am very honored to be here on today amen i am very honored and humbled amen and excited about being an instrument in god's hands for his glory amen 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 today's segment i would like to talk about last week we talked about um moving um, from fear to faith and today I would like to talk about moving forward in faith. Yes, I'm talking about faith again because it's all about faith. Our life in Christ, it began with faith and it has, it has to continue with faith. Amen, amen, amen. It has to be about faith and not just faith, but faith in action. Amen. Amen. Why? Because it is impossible to please God without faith. For he that comes to God must believe first that he is God, then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. 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 Faith is necessary for the initial salvation of our spirit. We are saved by grace. God's wonderful grace, but it's it is through faith. Amen. It's grace, but through faith. Faith is the key to unlock our hearts to his love. Faith is required for holiness and for sanctification. Faith is needed for a life that is being conformed into the image of Jesus. For through for though it is by the power of the Holy Spirit, it is accessed through faith. It's about faith. I'm talking about faith. Not just any kind of faith, but faith in action. The faith that is in God. Moving forward in faith is critical in averting our sight away from our current circumstances. And faith is equally critical in recognizing, hear me good, in recognizing our position, our present position in Christ. Where God has seated us together with Christ in heavenly places. But we must reckon it to be so, and when when we and we must yield to the Spirit's leading. And so faith is the key to moving forward in the things of God and the uh, the inheritance we have in Christ. Amen. Amen. We do have an inheritance in Christ. As born again believers, we cannot do without faith. The Bible tells us in Habakkuk 2 and 4, Romans 1 and 17, and Hebrews 10 and 38, that the just shall live by faith. There are some qualities in life that we can afford to be without, but without faith, we are not even able to begin the Christian life. Without faith, we are not in a position to continue the Christian life. And without faith, without trust, it is impossible to please God. Moving forward in faith allows us not to shrink back through the challenges of this life. Faith is the attitude of the soul that believes God's word and acts on it. It is the soul resting on the word of God. Without faith in God, we would not act upon the promises of God. 
Amen. As we we move forward in faith, it becomes a secret to a rewarding Christian life, a life that triumphs. If you are born again into Christ, the new life, then you already know that faith is a prerequisite to pardon, peace, purity, and power. But that is just the beginning. We are to move forward in faith. James writes that faith without works is dead. He talked about Abraham and uh, how he trusted God so that he was willing to sacrifice his only son, the son whom God said was the promised son. In Hebrews 2:20 through uh, 24, it states, "You foolish person, must you be shown that faith that does nothing is worth nothing?" Abraham, our ancestor, was made right with God by what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar. So you see that Abraham's faith in the things he did work together. His faith was made perfect by what he did. This shows the full meaning of the scripture that says, Abraham believed God and God accepted Abraham's faith and that faith made him right with God. And Abraham was called God's friend. So you see that people are made right with God by what they do, not by faith only. Now I must interject here. There is not that this is not saying that we are saved by our works. There is no amount of work we can do to save ourselves. It is saying that our life reflects that faith that we are saved. Amen. Amen. The acid test of true religion is doing the truth, not just hearing it or speaking it. Action is the hallmark of authentic faith. Faith and obedience join together. Faith in action. Abraham moved uh, forward in faith. It was by faith Abraham obeyed God's call to go to another place God promised to give him. He left his own country, you know the story, not knowing where he was to go. It was by faith that he lived like a foreigner in the country God promised to give him. It was by faith that Abraham was made able to become a father because he trusted God, he trusted God to do what he had promised. It was by faith that Abraham, when God tested him, offered his son Isaac as a sacrifice. God had said, the descendants I promise you will be from Isaac. Now Abraham believed that God could raise the dead and really it was as if Abraham got Isaac back from death. I can go on and on. In Hebrews 11, it gives us a list of the hall of faithfulness. And we know you can't be faithful without faith. Amen, amen, amen. The beginning of uh, chapter 2 in, in Hebrews gives us hope why we can move forward in faith. We are surrounded by a great cloud of people whose lives tell us what faith means. So let us run the race that is before us and never give up. We should remove from our lives anything that would get in the way and the sin that so easily holds us back. Let us look only to Jesus, the only one, the only to Jesus, the one who began our faith and who makes it perfect. He suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame as if, if it were nothing because of the joy that God put before him. And now he is sitting at the right side of God's throne. Think about Jesus' example. He held on while wicked people were doing evil things to him. So don't get tired. Don't stop trying. And don't give up. Move 
forward in faith. Jesus went through so much to give us an example to move forward in faith. He also had to believe what his father promised him by being the propitiation of our sins. We move forward in faith by getting to know God. Faith involves getting to know God and learning to trust his character. There is a, a difference in knowing God and knowing about God. Intellectual knowledge is not the same as vital faith. Knowing about God is not the same as having a, a personal relationship with Him. Information alone does not produce tangible faith. Knowing God is seeking Him with all our hearts. There was a price to pay in knowing God. Jesus said it best. He said, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. Apostle Paul knew the price. He said, we must present our bodies as a living sacrifice. We allow Jesus to be Lord and King of our life. We give our, give, we give us, we give him our will. We give up our will will for his will. We give up our plans for his plans. We give up our ways for his ways. There was a price to pay to move forward by faith. Spiritual strength and health require integrating our faith with every area of our life. Amen. Faith is not just one more thing on a list of a hundred things, but rather the foundation of who we are. If our walk with Jesus is real, it should become evident to others. Faith that is alive and growing is faith unleashed and moving forward with the leading of the Holy Ghost. In 2 Peter chapter 1, it tells us to add to our faith. He urges us to progress in our faith because if, it, if a believer does not transform profession into practice, he or she becomes spiritual useless, perverting the purpose for which he or she was called. verses uh, 3, starting at verse 3, it states this. Everything we could ever need for life in complete uh, devotion to God has already been deposited in us by His divine power. For all this was lavished upon us through the rich experience of knowing Him who has called us by name and invited us to come to Him through a glorious manifestation of His goodness. As a result of this, He has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price, so that through the power of these tremendous promises, you can experience partnership with the divine nature by which you have escaped the corrupt desires that are of the world. So, devote yourselves to lavishly supplementing your faith with, with goodness. We're moving forward in faith with goodness. Into goodness, add understanding. Into understanding, add the strength of self-control. Into self-control, add patience, endurance. Into patience, patient endurance, add godliness. Into godliness, add mercy toward your brothers and sisters. Into mercy toward others, add unending love. Since these virtues are already planted deep within and you possess them in abundant supply, they will keep you from being inactive or fruitless in your pursuit of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately. But if anyone lacks these things, he is blind, consistently closing his eyes to the mysteries of our faith and forgetting his innocence for his past sins have been washed away. Amen. Amen. God has given us everything we need to move forward in faith. 
we don't really have any excuses. In fact, God will not accept its excuses. Yes, God's mercies are new every morning. But don't use that as a crutch. Because remember, God is not mocked, nor is he deceived. Amen. Amen. You have to move <laughs> from the milk, the pure milk, that's what Peter said, from the pure milk of the word into maturity. That's moving forward in faith. And he lets us know that in, in moving forward in faith, we have to add to our faith those things. Amen. And that list ends with love. Because why? Faith works by love. You can't have faith without love. You can't say you have faith and you don't love your brother and your sister. Amen. In Christ. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. He's given us all that we need. Now, if, if we choose, if we lack these things, we don't have these things, then we have chosen to close our eyes and deny them. It's not because God has not provided it for us, because he has. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have to move forward in faith. Amen. We have to lay aside good so we can get better. We have to lay aside better so we can get the best that God has for us. Amen. Amen. For this reason, beloved ones, be eager to confirm and validate that God has invited you to salvation and claim you as his own. Do you belong to God on today? Hallelujah. Is his uh, mark stamp on your forehead? Do you wear the mark of Jesus Christ on today? If you do these things, if you do these things, I'm still reading 2 Peter, if you do, uh, do these things, you will never stumble. As a result, the kingdom's gates will open wide to you as God choreographs your triumphant entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Now, <clears throat> often we'll say this. You know, we all stumble, we all fall, fall short. Every day we're falling and we, we, we're falling every day. We're dipping and falling every day because God gives us mercy. Amen, amen, amen. But with, with me reading this, why are we stumbling? Because I, my Bible tells me this. If you walk in the light, you shall not stumble. Evidently, when we are stumbling, we have left the light. And now we're in a dark place. Amen. I stepped out of the frame. But we're in a dark place now. So we can't see where we're stepping. Amen. Amen. David said, your word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto, uh, your word is a, a light, <laughs> a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. 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 So when we find ourselves stumbling every day, then we need to get ourselves back under the light. Amen. Amen. We don't have to settle. Amen. For our weakness, for our shortcomings, our faults. There is victory in Jesus. Amen. There is victory in moving forward in faith. There is victory in moving forward in faith and believing the word of God when it says, if you walk in the light, you shall not stumble. When the word tells us, amen, that when we uh, re receive salvation, when we are born again, that we, we are no longer of ourselves. We have died. We have been buried with Christ, and when we rise, we live in Christ. Our life is in Christ. Amen, amen. Moving forward in faith. See, the good news of Jesus Christ is more than facts to be believed. It is also a life to be lived. And that life is, a, uh, is, a, is lived moving forward in faith in Jesus Christ, whose death, and resurrection are the basis for the believer's redemption, justification, reconciliation, salvation, and glorification. Glory, hallelujah. When we move forward by faith, we will know how to be delivered from sin. We will know how to live a, a balanced life under grace. And we will know how to live 
victor the victorious Christian life through the power of the Holy Ghost. In other words, a changed life is not a condition for salvation, but it should be the natural outcome of saving faith. We have been called away from the corruption of the world to the conformity with Christ Jesus. Now, how important is faith in accessing uh, all God has promised to us? How essential is trust in receiving all God wants to do in us and through us? How vital is believing what God tells us for his for this delights his heart for without faith it is impossible to please God and yet faith is not the goal I'm saying again faith is not the goal faith is the way to realize the goal trust is not the objective but the means to achieving the objective. Believing is not the aspiration, but the tool that bring to fruition our aspiration. For when he is revealed, we shall not need faith. When he is revealed, we shall know just as we also are known. When he is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Glory, hallelujah. In preparing for today, I came across two poems about faith. The first, first one is entitled, Faith is the Key. Now, faith is like seeing it rain on a cloudy day. In spite of the stormy weather, there always comes a beautiful sunny day. But when my faith was weak, I asked God, is there more to life than just to struggle than die? He said, I shall surely bless those who are willing to try. Then I asked, what does that mean? He said, keep me first and thou shalt conquer thy dream. What must I do? Those who endure to, to, to end are just a few. He continued, Man cannot possibly understand how much I care. In the midst of hardship and grief, I am always there. Finally, he said, no matter how difficult life gets, faith is the key. He assured me faith can move large mountains for both you and me. Hallelujah. I love that poem. The next one is called, again, Now Faith. Now Faith. I think I just read that one. Okay, I caught, I, evidently I, I did it twice. But that one was, was great, wasn't it? It was, I love that. That was wonderful. We have to move forward in faith to develop the character of salvation, which is the fruit of the Spirit. We have to move forward in faith, believing that as a child of God, we overcome the world. 1 John, 1 John 5 and 4, from the Passion Translation says this. You see... Every child of God overcomes the world, for our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. Apostle Paul knows about moving forward in faith, for in Philippians 3, 12 and 14 says, Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it on my own. But one thing I do, I forgetting what lies behind me and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Our faith has to allow us to endure the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12 and 1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and, and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set 
before us. Moving forward in faith lets us go on and finish the course by the grace of God. Acts 20 and 24 says, But I do not account my life as any value, nor as precious to myself, if only I may finish my course in the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of grace, the grace of God. We move forward in faith because of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and King. 1 John 1, 1 through 10. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testified to it and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may fellowship with us. And indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is a message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Hallelujah. I just got through saying that there is no darkness in God. Amen. If we walk in him and we are in Christ Jesus, we will not stumble. Yes, we will have challenges of life, but that don't mean we have to stumble. We can stay the course by faith, by believing the word of God. Amen. Amen. It's possible because God has made it possible for us. Amen. Amen. Let's look at seven scriptures that encourages us to move forward in faith. Philippians 3.14 I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ. Don't look back. Don't look back. Amen. Paul never looked back, but always pressed ahead toward his main goal. And that goal was the prize that awaited him in the kingdom of heaven. We too should not be looking back except to see how we have progressed in our walk with Christ and in the sanctification we are undergoing. We are or should be growing more and more like Christ. And even though we are not ever going to be sinless, we should be sinning less the longer we are in Christ. Amen. Sin, matter of fact, sin... We should, we should never think about sin so much uh, uh, that, that we're trying not to sin. When Jesus has given us his blood, amen, that cleanses us, his efficacious blood, amen, we've been given the power, amen, to defeat sin. We don't have to fall to sin. We don't have to stay sinful. Amen. We don't have to say stay sinful. If, if we sing the song all the time, oh God, we are washed. In the blood, I'm washed, I'm cleansed, I'm, I'm all is in the blood. Are we or are we not? Amen. We have to believe the word of God. And then we act on the word of God. Faith in action. Moving forward in faith. Amen. Amen. We don't have to believe those things uh, um, um, continually that, that we, are, we, we are always going to be sinless. Sin, sin is always going to be there. Good and evil will always be present. As long as this earth remains, it will always be present. It right, godly and ungodly, it, it will always be present. That's just, that's the world we live in. Amen. Amen. But that does not mean we have to sin every day. We, we, don't, we don't have to reckon ourselves to sin every day. But we have to reckon ourselves to what the word says about our lives and about sin. Amen. 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 Isaiah 43 and 18. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. I like this um, verse uh, because Isaiah is reminding Israel and really us about our only Savior, and that is Jesus Christ, who is God himself. No one um, drives a car continually staring back in the rearview mirror. They are safer if they look ahead. 
we should remember what we've been saved out of, but not in a nostalgic way. We can measure our progress in Christ by remembering our former sinful lifestyle, but it does it does us no good if we dwell on the former things continuously. So God told Israel, and he really tells us not to consider the things of old or the former things because he is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing, y'all, in us through the Holy Spirit, and we, and we have much to look forward to. Forget the former things. Don't let it hold you in the past. I heard um, someone said one time that we can never hold, we can never live in the present because we're too busy holding on to the past. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians five and seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, I love this scripture here. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now. Does God make us new for us to stay sinful? For us to still... <laughs> Sanctification has to come, but I don't think he did that. He didn't make us new for us to go back to being old. It's like the scripture that says, you know, um, a, a pig will return, a dog will return to its vomit and a pig... You know, after you clean them up, he'll return to the mud. Amen. Amen. I don't want that to be said about me, being a new creature in Christ. Amen. Yes, there's mercy. Yes, there's grace. Um, yes, there's forgiveness. This, this all God has set it up so that we, He set, He's God has set it, set us up to win. Amen. And if we fail, it's because we fail, not God, not God. When a person has been born again, they are a new creature in Christ. And the old man, along with the old things, have passed away. This is the scripture. This is this is Bible. Amen. Amen. I don't go against what the Bible says. I believe what the Bible says. Therefore, because it's God's word. Amen. Therefore, we know that all things have become new. So we don't need to look back, but keep moving forward on or forward in faith. The qualification here is if any man or woman be in Christ, they are a new creation or a new creation, creature that has new life, new interests, new desires, and the old sinful passions. All the sinful passions of life are gone. Amen. It's all new and the old has no appeal for us anymore. That's salvation. Amen. We've been given a new heart in Christ Jesus. Amen. Then now we begin to love the things that God loves and hate the things that he hates. We call sin, sin. We call evil, evil. We call good, good and bad, good. Amen. We call good, good and bad, bad. Amen. We agree with what God says. Amen. We don't try to uh, um, compromise or customize the word to suit our life and our purpose. Amen. It's not going to work that way. God is not no fluff God. God is not no God you can push over and, and say, I'm God, I'm going to do this my way. And you accept me? God not going to do that. <laughs> he's God. He's Jehovah. He's sovereign. He's creator. Amen. It's his program. We have to get with his program. We should say, you know, um, if you want to uh, 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 play the game, you got to know the rules. It's his kingdom. He's king. He rules. He reigns. We're trying to change the script on God. But God said, who are you to darken my counsel? Remember he told Job that? Ah, Rabbi Shia. Get on board with the good and gracious God. He knows the way. The best way. He has good for us. I believe that. I got all giddy today in service. Our pastor uh, uh, preached from Psalm 23 and 5. The Lord <laughs> prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. He anoints my head with oil and my cup overflows. Amen. I was so giddy. I just, you know, I just saw my father lavishly just, just blessing me in front of my enemies, in front of those people that, you know, that 
cross me out, don't even know me, say this, da, 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 la, 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 and I was just so giddy up there, the Holy Spirit was just talking to me, he was just tickling me, he was just ministering to me, I love that message on the day, amen, I love Psalm 23, I do, it's not a dead man's song, it's a, <laughs> it's, it encourages me, amen, I, on the drive home, I told my husband, I said, oh, that's my go-to, that's when I'm in the clutch, Hey God, when my back is against the wall, hey God, when all darkness is trying to uh, force me out, amen, I go there, I say, oh God, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, and then I drop down, and I say, hey, God, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, you anoint my head with all, and my cup runneth over, surely, hey God, I put a surely on it, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord, oh God, forever, Oh, God, that just energized me. That jump starts me. It encouraged me. Oh, God, oh, yes. That's, I love that. So I, love, so I love the shepherd. So I love the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, God, he's a good, good shepherd. He's a good, good shepherd. Hey, God, you got to know him as that. You got to believe that God is a good God and he wants good for you. Because he gave his only begotten son. Amen took on all that. He didn't deserve it, but he wanted to do it. He did it for us. He did it for you and he did it for me. I heard a song going to church today and the song said, how could he do it for me? Who he never saw before. That's not true. <laughs> I told my daughter, I said, that, that's, that, that, that sentence is not true. God knew us before the foundation of this world because his word tells us that. He sees us. He saw us before we were formed in our mom, in the, the belly of our mom in her, before her womb. Amen. Before our mom and dads ever met, ever knew it, ever ever born, God already saw us. He, he's the end. He said, I know the end before the beginning. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We got to listen to what we hear and say amen to. Amen. We got to search that thing. Sometimes we got to put a, 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 a comma there or a semicolon or something, a space, and find out, is this true what I'm, a, what I'm saying? What am I believing? You have to have right thinking. Amen. Amen. Unto the things of God, the truth of God. Job 17 and 9. The righteous keep moving forward. <laughs> Are you righteous? Then move forward. And those with clean hands become stronger and stronger. The righteous move forward. This verse is from the, the New Living Translation. And I like it because it focuses on moving forward. But it is, it is only the righteous that have clean hands that become stronger and stronger. It is only by Jesus' blood that we can be declared righteous in his sight. If you are in Christ, then you should also be moving forward and away from your past and looking ahead to do good works that have been prepared for us ahead of time. That's why I said he knew us from ahead of time. <laughs> that song, that lyric, I, I can't remember the song, but I heard that lyric and I said, oh no, that's not true. Ah, Jesus. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded, I said this before, since um, uh, we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to who? Looking to Jesus. Why? Because he is the founder and the perfecter of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the th throne of God, looking ahead. That's looking ahead. Amen. Jesus endured the cross because he looked forward to being seated again at the right hand of the Father. And so too, mu too must we look ahead to run this race with endurance. 
The race that is set before us compels us to look ahead and keep moving on. No one running in a race looks back but keeps looking ahead and by looking ahead we are able to run it with endurance. However, we can only run with endurance if we lay aside every weight that encumbers us in this race like the sin which so easily hinders us and if we are looking forward or ahead to Jesus the founder the author the perfecter of our faith we can uh, more easily keep looking ahead and keep moving on share this dream I had with you years ago as I was going through and on my path to seeking seeking the Lord because I needed I needed Jesus I needed help and I went to sleep one night and uh, <clears throat> dreamt I was on a, war, a road and it was pitch black and on that road ahead of me was Jesus I didn't see him but I heard his voice and I knew his I felt his presence I also felt the presence of of Satan behind me and he was close behind me he was so close behind me I wanted to look back you know how we do, we run and we won't look back and somebody's trying to catch us. I could not look back. Jesus told me, he said, keep your eyes on me and you will be all right. He said, don't take your eyes off me. He said, you keep moving forward and keep your eyes on me. Amen. I woke up. I never looked back. I kept, I, I just knew he was there. I trust what was in front of me than what was behind me. Amen. Amen. And that dream still comes to me as a reminder when I am in those, in, in, in the times of my life, um, when things are compelling me down and, and my mind is just, you know, just wrapped around things that I hear, I see. Amen. This thoughts trying to uh, rage in my mind. Amen. Amen. I have to stop myself. I have to get off that wheel. Amen. And put my eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of my faith. And he's not only just that, but he's the Prince of Peace. Amen. 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 Philippians 3 and 2. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus had made me his own. He is my portion. I belong to him and he belongs to me. You got to reckon that with yourself by faith. Amen. His word tells us that. So I reckon myself. I do. Amen. I do. We have to keep pressing on. We got to keep pressing. Paul kept pressing on. Even though he had not yet obtained his goal or been made perfect. He kept pressing on because Christ has made him his very own. <laughs> just as he has has us who have repented and trusted in him we keep moving on despite having already arrived but we keep moving on because we are already Jesus Christ we already belong to him and we are in his hand and there's nothing or no one can pluck us from the, the son or the father's hands you believe that on today amen no matter what kind of situations you're going through amen do you believe it that that you're you're in this you're planted in this hand and nothing can pluck you out amen there's no kind of uh, sickness or disease no matter of, of of challenges or circumstances it can they can't do it cannot do it cannot pluck us out he has he has us engraved in the palm of his hands glory be to jesus Oh God, I, I, I often, when I hear a song like um, Never Let Go of God's Unchanging Hand, that's true. That is true. But there are times in life when you're just utterly just weak and you can't hold on to nothing. But because He holds us with His righteous right hand, when our grips loosens, amen, His grip still holds us. And he don't hold us like this. Amen. God holds us like this. So when we hold him and our grip loosens, he still got us. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit showed me that analogy uh, one time when I was like, God, you know, he showed me that. He showed me that. Amen. Amen. 
Psalm 119. I love Psalm 119. Psalm 119, but I love the Word of God. So, you know, Psalm 119, 110. Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Anyone who walks in this present evil world will encounter times of darkness, but God's word will light our path and allow us to keep moving on and not stumble. The Bible is God's word. It's like a light that illuminates the path so we know we are go where we are going. The fact is the unfolding of God's words gives light. And in him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Now, the Baptist, John the Baptist came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. That Jesus Christ was the true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. Anyone who has Christ as a light and the word of God gives light to the path that we all walk on in life so that we can keep moving on safely, surely, and securely. A faith that works moves forward in faith. We take advantage of the opportunities by facing our fears by faith and receive God's manifold grace. We need to take that next step. God isn't finished maturing our faith in Him. Our faith will be tested. Amen? Amen. Remember, there is always greater grace and faith needed to live this life. If we don't move forward by faith, then our hearts will grow colder and we will stray away from the truth of God. Jesus is passing by. Step out by faith, believing and trusting in God. These are rewards in moving forward in faith. In uh, Revelation 22, starting at that 12th verse, it says this. Listen, I am coming soon. I will bring my reward with me. And I will repay each one of you for what you have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they will receive the right to eat the fruit from the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. God is the only one who never changes. His character, His name remains the same through all generations. He is fully trustworthy, always powerful, forever loving, and constantly present with us. He is our Jehovah Makedesh, our sanctifier. He is Jehovah Sikkanu, our righteousness. He is Jehovah Shama. He's God's abiding uh, presence. He's Jehovah Rahi. Uh, he's our shepherd. He's Je Jehovah Shalom. He's our peace. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's our healer. He's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He's Jehovah Nisi, our banner of victory that's over us. Amen. Amen. We can move forward in faith, trusting that God will keep his word, trusting that God says no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Trusting, oh God, that, that when the enemy comes in that, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against us, against him. Amen. 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 Trusting that he will never leave us nor forsake us because his word say, trusting, amen, that we are seated together in Christ Jesus, trusting that we are God, uh, heirs to God and joint heir, heirs with Christ, trusting that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life, trusting, amen, that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above and never beneath, a God, amen, trusting that as we go out, we are blessed, as we come in, we are blessed, amen, trusting in the armor of God that we can put on, amen, the belt of truth around our waist, amen, we can put on the shoes prepared with a God 
gospel of peace. Amen. We can put on the breastplate of righteousness, Lord God. Hey, God, we can put on the helmet of salvation. Amen. We can take up, amen, the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And we can pray. Oh, God, we got, he's given us prayer to cover that armor. Amen. 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 We can believe. We can go forward in faith that he is our shepherd and we shall not want. Amen. We can go forward in faith knowing, hey, God, but that when our enemies surround us, God protects us. We can go forward in faith believing Psalm 91. We can go forward in faith believing Psalm 27. We can go forward in faith believing God's word from Genesis, hey, God, to the book of Revelation. We can go forward, amen, and mature in the things of God. We can go forward in uh, uh, our newness in Christ Jesus. We can go forward, amen, dying to sin. We can go forward denying ourselves, taking up our cross and following Jesus, amen. We can go forward in faith by loving one another. The world will see that we are his disciples and Jesus is Lord, amen, because we've been given a name that's above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hey, God. Every tongue confess that he is Lord to the glory of the Father. Amen. We can go forward in faith. Amen. We can go forward in faith. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't get tired. Believe the word of God. Amen. Amen. As I come to a close on this segment of Faith in Action, I pray that something that was said will ignite you to cause your faith to get in action. Amen. God doesn't want a dead faith. He wants a faith that's alive, a faith that's growing, a faith that's moving, a faith that's believing in Him. Amen. 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 I told you before that it's impossible to please God without faith. Amen. Amen. We can't even get saved without faith. Amen. It has to, it, all of God's given us faith for, for a reason. The, the Bible says that the worlds, the world were framed by faith. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining me on today's segment. I am again your host, Mary J. Bryant. And if you would like to just take a peek at the ministry, amen, this is a ministry that God gave to, gave to me some years ago uh, when I was at work one day, amen. Um, you can go to www.dubministry378, amen.org, and you can sort of see all what we're doing and what's, what's in there. You can also see um, a list of my books. If you want to secure a copy or copies, please do so. I would be glad to um, autograph it for you and send it out. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I enjoy doing these segments. <laughs> um, though it's oppressed sometimes um, doing, doing them, but I move forward in faith because I have had, I have a race that's set before me. Amen. Amen. And I'm pressing. I'm pressing my way on. On to the finish line. Amen. Glory be to to God, there is no other way for me. There is no other choice for me. Amen. It's God's way. Ah, Rishiko. It's God's way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. He loves you so much. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Have yourself a wonderful uh, day or night whenever you are watching this. And move forward in faith. Take hold of those things that God has in store for you. Amen. Amen. Amen.